Hello guys and welcome back to another chemistry class and of course we're doing chemistry and we're going to be looking at Faraday's first law Faraday's first law of electrolysis okay so uh faraday's first law of electricity we are going to what not spend so much time on this and most importantly we're not going to do calculation in this episode after this first law in the next episode we'll talk about the second law of electrolysis and then in the next episode we are going to dedicate it to what to solving questions from the old 3 schools jam app so please make sure that you have downloaded the app on your phone and make sure that what you have activated it if you have downloaded the old 3 schools jam app on your phone right now just click on activate and at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key click on it and then you see what three options for what for making your what payment and getting your activation you can use your atm card to what to pay directly in that method your app becomes automatically uh, automatically what uh, activated once you use that method also you can make what a direct bank transfer to the world to the old three schools app account or you can use what even google pay to what to make your payment it is very safe it is not a scam so please download your app activate it you can what give three thousand naira to what to get success in your exam so don't tell me that three thousand naira is too much some people message and say three thousand naira is too much for the app if you see the intellectual uh, uh intellectual stress that it takes what to what to, to, to put that app together you will not see that in the first place all right so please activate that app and what and start practicing it has wonderful features there's a question start feature it's a classroom feature it's a utme challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing exam writing the jump exam for this particular year all right you are competing with them every saturday till one week to your exam and you are winning prizes apart from winning prizes you are getting you are getting used to our jam set their question apart from getting used to our jam set their question you are gaining confidence with the exam and you are seeing your result every week so you can be able to track your progress okay so please do not joke with the app download the app activate it and what and that will be all okay in case you want to reach out uh, after downloading you want to activate in case you do not understand the procedure i just met it out just send a message on whatsapp on 0912151 five two four six and of course we we'll send you an instruction on how you can use to activate the app okay now let's look at faraday's first law of electrolysis the faraday first law of electrolysis state that the mass of a substance the mass of a substance right deposited during electrolysis The mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity to the quantity of electricity passed through it okay when i talk about pass through it the substance i talk about is what is the electrolyte the electrolytes okay so this is father this first law of electrolysis very simple to what to understand it says well that the mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the world the electrolyte okay now very easy this means that what passing a large quantity of electricity through an electrolyte will result in the deposition of a large mass of substance on the what on the electrode during what electrolysis it's as simple as that what the first law is just saying is that what is that passing a large current of what of electricity through an electrolyte will result in the deposition of a large mass of substance right on the electrode during electrolysis so mathematically mathematically We have that word that that what mass of a substance m the mass m is directly proportional to what to the quantity of electricity passed through it m is directly proportional to what directly proportional to what to q okay and we already know in time pass that q is equal to what i t right that is what current times what times the time okay so that means we can easily say that what that mass 
is that it proportional to what to it in place of what q isn't it so we can now say that what that mass is directly proportional to what to it but of course we need to what take away this sign of what proportionality by introducing a constant and the constant i'm going to introduce here is called z called the electrochemical equivalent okay so introducing a constant introducing a constant now we are now going to have what that m is equal to z i t where z is called what the electrochemical equivalent okay z is called the electrochemical equivalent and also please note it's very important that you note that what that even the z itself is equal to what ram R O A M over C F. Okay, where RAM R O A M is equal to what relative atomic mass. Z uh, RAM is what relative atomic mass. C itself is what is charge. C is charge or valency. Right? Why F? Why F itself is what is Faraday's constant. F is what. Faraday's Faraday's constant, okay, which is what ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb. Okay, so please take note of what of that. So Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that what that the mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through it. Okay, and I told you and I explained to you that passing what a large quantity of electricity through an electrolyte will result in the deposition of a large mass of substance on the electrode during what electrolysis. And mathematically, I've shown you that the mass of a substance deposited during electricity is directly proportional to the quantity Q of electricity passed through it. And we recall from time past when we we're doing current electricity that what that Q is, is equal to what to it so if i replacing q with it i'm going to have m is directly proportional to, proportional to what to it and if you are taking away this sign of what proportionality and introducing a constant z called the electrochemical equivalent we now have the order m is equal to what now z i t the sign of proportionality will disappear all right so having disappeared it then of course we know that z is electrochemical equivalent and also Z itself is RAM over CF. Okay, ROAM over CF, where ROAM is relative atomic mass, and what uh, C is what is the charge of valency, and F is the Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant is 96,500 Coulomb. With this formula, we can use the word to solve what a lot of questions. Okay, so let's wait in the next episode where we talk about what the Faraday's second law of electrolysis. When we are done. The formulas we have any question that will bother on electrolysis you can use the word to answer it okay please let's make sure we join the next episode my name remains master t your favorite chemistry teacher and i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching